Hip replacement refers to removing the ball and socket of a hip joint. So we remove a diseased and worn out femoral head, which is the ball, and we remove a, a worn out and diseased acetabulum, which is the socket, and we replace that with artificial implants. By far and away, the most common reason that people come to hip replacement is osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is the most common form of arthritis. We refer to it as a wear and tear type arthritis, simply where the hip joint has worn out. Most of our patients present to us because they have developed pain that really is no longer responsive to non-operative measures, such as over-the-counter medicines, exercise, and weight loss. That's when we typically start talking about uh, surgical intervention. The decision to proceed with surgery, it's a big one. It's a big decision to make. It's a decision that we make in conjunction with the patient. So we can advise the patient as to whether or not we think they're a good candidate for surgery, whether or not we think surgery would benefit them. We have a whole team that works with patients to get them ready for surgery. A big part of hip replacement and knee replacement and having a successful outcome is making sure that the patient is really as healthy as we can get them before surgery. We also do discharge planning, making sure that the patient has a good plan uh, for how they're gonna recover at home after they're discharged from the hospital. Lengths of stay have really come down substantially over the last decade. 10 years ago, patients would routinely stay in the hospital for two or three days after the operation. Now many times, patients are able to go home the same day as the joint replacement itself. After surgery, of course, there's pain. Pain is part of any surgical procedure. We help manage that pain with multiple different uh, uh, types of medications. We try to limit opioids. Patients are up on their feet, moving around very quickly uh, with modern joint replacement uh, for most patients. After a few days, things have really uh, started to improve substantially uh, and they're back on their feet to getting back to a lot of normal activities uh, now after a week or two following their hip replacement surgery. Thankfully, modern implants have gotten substantially better than older implants that we were putting in a decade or two ago. So the wear rates now are an order of magnitude lower than they used to be. There still is the possibility for wear and there still is the possibility that the joint replacement has to be redone for other reasons infections, loosening, breakage of the implants. Thankfully, those rates are pretty, pretty low for the first 20 to 30 years after the joint replacement is put in.